astrologer wonder girl taking you to new heights here is your weekly forecast for the week of monday september 18th to monday september 25th 2017 now what is going on this week aries is we've got venus finishing out right over here in your fifth house of happiness and romance and passion projects and and things like that okay i think we've been focusing on your fifth house for a while trying to figure out what makes you happy maybe make some readjustments there and that kind of thing because we did have the eclipse right here where venus is going to be this week and we had mercury and mars and a bunch of other planets pass through too really trying to make sure you understand what makes you happy and you work some of that stuff out before you begin to move forward and i think we're just starting to deal with or we're just ending we're just ending dealing with all that we're just dealing with the last few remnants of what makes Makes you happy so that you can move forward and begin to live it more all right now while you're trying to figure out what makes you happy and deal with these last few stuff there could be some unexpected things of course that are coming up for you because we do have Ar um, uranus in your first house in a trine over here with venus in your fifth so maybe just some unexpected things are coming up in regards to kids, in um, regards to what makes you happy or what you enjoy in some way that you weren't planning on and trying to figure out one last time how it is that you can do something that you like and that you enjoy with some of these unexpected things that have happened maybe that you weren't planning on. All right, after you deal with that unexpected stuff, I think you're really gonna be able to or really going to want to start to build on it more and just create the external realities that match what makes you happy on the inside. Could also have to do with your job as well, to have a job that also allows you to do more of what it is that you enjoy. That's because we do have Venus after it finishes up with this trine, moving into Virgo and your sixth house of job. We also do have a new moon here at the very last degrees of Virgo in your sixth house too, really bringing up a lot of new beginnings for you at work in your daily routines, trying to do new things um, okay, and just organize your life differently. And I think you're trying to take some of this stuff that makes you happy, that you want and enjoy, and just do it more and put the hard work in into making it manifest and making it happen. I don't think that this is going to be super easy because this new moon is going to oppose Chiron here in your 12th house of your insides. So I think as you're trying to put the work in to do something you enjoy, maybe you're feeling a little uncomfortable, a little insecure inside. Like, is this what you really want? Or like you have to do something opposite of what you really want you really want to feel comfortable and just enjoy doing this thing and now you have to put in all of this work and I think you got to overcome some of your insecurities or your fears about all this stuff going on and about whether or not you can make your life happen with this happy thing so that you can move forward I also think that there may be some confusion too about your job and about your daily routines and about how you put plans in place to sustain this thing that you enjoy because we do have Mercury and Mars here in your sixth house of job which is going to oppose Neptune this week bringing up some of course some confusion about what you feel inside about what you really want and how you can bring more of that out into your into the daylight too and into your job and daily routines really having to sit through some confusion and get over some of this confusion so that you can have the life that it is that you really want okay so that is going to happen there on top of that we do have mercury in your sixth house which is going to try and pluto right here in your uh, tenth house of career so I think you're going to have some very strong thoughts or conversations right here when it comes to your job and your career and how you can get your daily life in order or have the right routines and job to help you move up in the world, have the reputation that you want in some way. I say strong because it can go either way. They can, these can either be good conversations where you feel like, you know what, I think I'm starting to get a hang of it. I'm starting to have the daily routines that I need to have the career that I want and the life that I want. Or you could feel opposite saying, my routines are in so much of a mess here. How can I organize this and put it together so that I can have the career that I want that you may have to sit with and figure out, but to not let get the best of you, okay, so that you can work with this energy and move forward. After you have these strong conversations or thoughts about all of this stuff, I think you're going to end up committing to something. You're going to have to commit to something new, maybe that you haven't done before, um, so that you can move in that direction, traveling, maybe study in some way, especially when it comes to your job and your daily routines, doing something new on the day-to-day, -day. traveling or studying on the day-to-day, -day, doing something you haven't done because we do have Saturn in your ninth about to square. Um, Mercury in your sixth of job as well, really needing to learn how to bring those two together, okay? And while you're trying to do all of that, um, you also have Jupiter here in your seventh house of partnerships. So I think you want to work with other people 
and you want to work with others and you want to have good relationships and you want your relationships to be in order but I think it's been hard for you to have your relationships be in order because there's so many unexpected things here perhaps that you want or that keep happening in your identity that you're having to figure out hey how can you stop having all these crazy unexpected things happen that you're pulling on people or whatever that are happening to you in a very important way and how can you really begin to work with other people to make sense of some of these unexpected things that keep coming up that are close to your identity okay so that you can move forward and just create things that are better for you all right so that is what is going on there another thing before i go is that pluto as well in your 10th house of career is stationing to go direct next week so I think anything that's been hard for you in your career and your life direction, maybe feeling like career isn't where you want it to be, you don't have the life direction that you want, is gonna start to move forward once again and get easier. But I think right now we're just kind of dealing with all of the stuff, trying to get rid of all the baggage more or less so that we can move forward and have an easier time of it in career. Okay, so that is what I see going on there. Your card for the week is the Knight of Wands. Upright. This to me is a card of passion, of swift dealings, okay, and making sure that people know what you want, what is close to your heart, and making it happen. Not It's not just enough to have passions and to have things that you like and enjoy, but you gotta put them into place, and you gotta be dedicated and disciplined about going to get them, and I think you're entering a major time with that, with all of these planets moving over from your fifth house to your sixth house. It's good to be happy. It's good to enjoy doing things, but can you make it last? When the rubber hits the road, can you do it and sustain it? And I think you can, but you just need to remember what made you happy in the first place and why you're doing it all. Okay, so that's what I got for you this week. Thank you so much for watching my horoscope. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like it on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and I will talk to you later.